Grace families and welcome back. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Remember that even though we're not physically together, we can still stay connected through our social media platforms. On YouTube, make sure you hit the little bell so you can get notifications whenever we post something new and we have new events coming up because we're having a whole lot of fun these days. Also, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and like and share with your friends and family so they can see all the fun that we're having. And on Instagram, hit that little heart and follow us. You don't want to miss out on any of the fun that we're having. You want to share with everybody so they can learn about God as well. So I hope you guys are ready for an amazing time today because we're going to have a blast. Here we go. Hello, Grace Kids, and welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me today. We're going to have so much fun today. So we are on week two of learning that God's got it. I'm Miss Dolly, and I'm so glad that you're here. So we're focusing on God's got it this month, and we're learning that no matter what happens, we know that God is in control, and that means we can sing in the rain because God's got it. I hope you guys are ready for some fun because we're going to do our Bible verse. We're going to do our song. And Ollie and his friends from the treehouse are going to tell us our story. I can't wait to see who we're going to talk about today. I hope you guys are ready because here we go. We're going to start off with our Bible verse. Are you guys ready? You know how we get ready. We're going to stretch those arms, wiggle your fingers, and show me your muscles. Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job, guys. God is with you wherever you go. Great job. Well, it's time for Miss Dolly's favorite time. Do you guys know what that is? That's right. Miss Dolly loves it when we worship together because I love to dance. So, you know how Michelle teaches us that we can worship God anywhere. So let's get ready, Michelle style. All right, you know what she says? Michelle says, get low, get low, get low, get low. So everybody, get low, get low, get low. Are you guys down low? Awesome. One, two, three, what time is it? It's worship time. Here we go. Sometimes I Go outside Sometimes I like to run and hide But I know all the time All the time You are with me Always with me Because wherever I go I know wherever I go Wherever I go I know God is with me Wherever I go I know wherever love it when we worship together. It's always so much fun. I love how Michelle tells us that we can worship God anywhere. So I love that we can worship him anywhere, even though we're not together. But that's okay. So Ollie and his friends from the treehouse are going to tell us our story today. So Ollie, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Okay then. Ollie, take it away. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We with you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We with you. I made it. Hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh. But you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Haha, <laughs> great! Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm. Let's help her watch, okay? Everyone look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow. 
a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, Baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take Baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story! And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Wow! I just love it when Ollie and his friends at the treehouse tell us our story. Can you imagine how scared and nervous she must have been to have to put baby Moses in a basket and put him and just let him go down the river without knowing where he was gonna land or who was gonna find him? That definitely means that she had all her faith in God because she knew that God's got it and he would take care of Moses no matter what happened. Remember, when Ollie and his friends tell us our stories, they come right from the Bible. So you know that they're true, so you better believe it. That's right, Ollie. We're always having fun when we learn about God. Well, guys, I hope you've had a blast today. It's been super fun for us. I can't wait to see you guys on Sunday so we can see what else we're going to learn. So until I see you guys on Sunday, I want you to remember that you are awesome. God created you to do amazing things, and you are loved. So you guys have a great rest of your week, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye, guys. <laughs>